Happy Sunday, everybody. I'm back, y'all, with another video for y'all. So thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. Thank you all for your support, your subscribes, your likes, your shares, all of that. It goes, I, I, I'm telling y'all, I pay close attention to the comment sections and everything. Thank y'all so much for your support. Everybody who has purchased a personal reading with me, thank y'all so much. I'm definitely enjoying doing that. As well as everybody who has shopped on my website at www.EmpressEmpireOils.com. All right, let's get into it. Let's see what message we got for the collective. Collective just means that it's for all times. If it resonates, then it's for you. Only take what applies. Don't try to make everything fit. If it doesn't fit, then it doesn't fit, okay? So don't try to force it. Let's see what we got. Give me a message for the collective, please. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, so somebody's masculine has keeps making these promises that, you know, you're the diamond girl. You're the one that I want to marry. You're the one that I want to be with. They're in a private connection, but this masculine keeps messing the, messing everything up, okay? The connection is falling apart, but this karmic still wants to fight for this connection. This is about a, a masculine and a karmic. The masculine, the karmic still wants to fight for this connection, but it's, it's crumbling. It's falling apart. The masculine has been doing what he do, sleeping around. The masculine has really like kind of got this free for all type of energy. And this is who he's been running off with. He's been running off. He's He's been doing his thing because we got promiscuous right here. And this that whole energy. <laughs> it just sounds funny saying it like that, but it is. Okay. It, it definitely is. This is, you know, that wow, freaky type of energy. And this is why the connection is falling apart, okay? Um, and this is what keeps the masculine running off. Like, it's, it's never as subtle. It's never just calm, peace. It, it'll be like that for a moment. But then, you know, he always ends up messing up, slipping up, slipping off. Going to going to sneak and do this, going to sneak and do that. But he has made this karmic a promise. He has made this karmic a promise that he's going to, you know, marry her or take things to the next level with her. She's the diamond girl. Give her a spot. Make her feel uh, like she's the only one. Put her on a pedestal. He has made that promise. Um, but the, the relationship is supposed to be like private he's trying to keep the connection private this karmic is willing to do whatever she needs to do to fight for this connection to keep the connection but the masculine keeps running off with with you know his flings and this is causing the connection to crumble okay it's not what she thought it was going to be mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's not what she thought it was going to be, okay? She thought it was going to be, oh, we're going to be this, this, that. It might be like that for the camera. It might be like that for social media. It might be like that, but behind closed doors, she's going through all types of hell, okay? She's going through a lot dealing with the masculine, okay? This masculine is really dropping her up a while, but she really was put in the fight for it, so if she want to keep fighting for it and keep getting tram trampled over and keep being a doormat. And that's on her. <laughs> that's on that's on you, boo-boo. Alright, let's see what else. Mm. 
Let's see how the karmic feels about the masculine. Eight of Swords, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands. Wow. Wow. She said if anybody try to come and take this masculine from her, she's going to fight them. That's how she feel. She said this the first, she feel like this the first man in her life that she's absolutely bonkers about. He be playing mind games with her. With this devil and the seven of swords energy, he real toxic, wild. I'm getting very wild. This masculine is very wild, okay? And she said, anybody try to come up and take them from them, get ready for for a, for, for a, a match, okay? Tower and the five of swords. Get ready for the ultimate shakedown, okay? I'm hearing what you said. Don't say nothing to him. Don't speak to him. Yeah. She don't even want nobody looking at him, touching him. He is definitely the prize in her eyes. She said the masculine is stuck in this relationship. And she said whatever they got, whatever they go through, they got to work through it. Eight of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. She's tired of seeing all these different people uh, in his face all the time. Um, but... She's going to give it some time, but she's she's going to wait to see, you know, just how he's going to move because she's upset because she, it's people in his face. He get attention. It's people maybe commenting under his post or see whatever it is that she's seeing. She's seeing people is giving him attention. She don't like it, but she said, you stuck. You ain't going nowhere. We going to work on this connection. It don't matter. She's willing to put in the fight for it. She's willing to take the disrespect. Death and the Page of Cups. And then we got the lovers here and the judgment. So, she has made her decision. She said this is the one she loved. She said it's true love, okay? She's going to give him a chance. Um, but she's she disappointed about something. She feel guilty about something. She, but she's trying to wait and see what he going to do. She wants to see if he going to fight for her like she going to fight for him. She giving, giving me the type that a stage something, stage something and see, okay, we going to do this, this, that, that, that. And I'm going to see how he responds. Okay, so in the past, they were going through something. And she was saying, I can't wait to show you so you can see how I feel. So she was planning on getting some type of get back. Okay, she was planning something planning something sneaky with the Seven of Swords. She said, give it some time. Um, and then we'll talk about it. She said, if it's true love, then you'll, it'll come. I'm hearing if it's true love, then it'll come back. So maybe there was some type of ending here with this death card. And I feel like now they're at a stage where they, they're trying they're working on the connection. Okay. So she she feels like he's stuck. She feels like she got him trapped. She feels like he can't go nowhere. She feels like she got she's in his head. And she's manipulating him into continuing to work on the connection. I feel like the connection ended recently, but they're back. Goody two shoot now. Ten of Cups. Yeah, she said, look, you stuck. And this with the Six of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. She said, yeah, this is the best relationship that she ever had, that she ever been in. You stuck. You can't go nowhere. This is also a relationship that's for social media, like doing stuff for attention, bragging. I'm saying since you want to brag about it so much. Yeah, she said, oh, she said, she said whoever he was with, since she wanted to brag about him so much, brag about what y'all had going on, this, this, that so much. She said it's her turn. So she gonna, she's doing this for, for the get back.
Yep, a lot of people telling her. A lot of people telling her, you better watch out. Because he not who you think he is. You better watch out. Mm-hmm. She said a bunch of people telling her. A bunch of people telling her. You better watch out. He not who you say. He not who you think he is. Somebody dealing with a married man. I'm just putting it out there. Somebody's masculine could be married. But this karmic loves to fight over her. And she's it's something about the past. Okay? Something about the past that ended bad. And I'm hearing you go find out what wait and see. You think you're going through it now? Hmm. Wait and see. So she done already been warned plenty of times. Because plenty of people have already told her about this master. So she's she just going to see. Yeah, she's like, okay, well, I'm going to wait and see then. I guess I'm going to just wait and find out. She thinks that this is true love. But... And <laughs> she think that it's true love. She really do. She really feel like this true love. She said it's the best relationship that she ever had, ever been in. And see, this masculine could definitely be clouding her judgment by uh, love bombing her, giving her little things, breadcrumbing her, take it back, breadcrumbing, take it back. And when I say take it back, that could be him breadcrumbing her, giving her what he wants so he can get what he wants. Once he get what he wants, he back off. And then he come back when she give him, you know, it's kind of like that type of energy. So that's what I got, guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the conversation below. And I'm going to chat with y'all later. All right? Ciao for now.